Campbell High School has not treated its female students fairly, and it's time for the federal courts to step in. That's according to a lawsuit filed by ACLU, which says the school has not provided the same opportunities and facilities to female athletes as the male athletes. Manolo Morales has details in tonight's top story. The lawsuit says that because the female athletes don't have their own locker room, they've had to change in the teacher's closet, the nearest Burger King bathroom, even out in the practice field, potentially in full view of bystanders. ACLU of Hawaii filed a lawsuit on behalf of two unnamed female students from Campbell High School. It says the school constantly shortchanges the girls when it comes to the things they need in athletics. I know from talking to our plaintiffs, it made them feel like they weren't valued. Um, it, it made them feel like they were second class compared to the boys, um, which is ridiculous. ACLU says what made it worse is that the girls can't even complain about it to school administrators. We're also seeing girls in fear of retaliation because when they came forward to raise concerns, the administration threatened to cancel their team. That's just wrong. ACLU says the Department of Education is not complying with the federal law called Title IX, which prohibits schools from discriminating against females. The organization says it's been working with the DOE to provide a plan to correct this for the past 10 months, but DOE has not done so. And so at that point, we decided that we needed to go to court uh, because the female athletes in Hawaii schools simply can't afford to wait any longer. ACLU says there are many other public schools doing this, so they encourage students to come forward if they want to file a complaint anonymously. The goal is to have a federal judge step in and force DOE to take action. One way to do that is to put in place a plan with steps that DOE would have to take and it would be supervised by the courts to ensure that in fact they're taking those steps. We did reach out to the DOE. A spokeswoman tells us they have not received or reviewed the lawsuit so they are unable to provide any comment. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News.